Hey guys. Oh, I just realized I can't see comments. Let me fix that. Hey everybody. Welcome to the ultimate pen test three. I'm sorry I'm crooked. We have our camera, <laughs> we have our camera especially set up to zoom right in on the planner. Uh, we have a signature weekly simplified planner, so I'm sorry that I'm crooked and weird, but you just gotta roll with it. Um, I'm so glad y'all are here. This is one of our most requested, often most watched Facebook lives. Um, if you would have told me years ago that I would be doing an entire hour of amazing pens, I would have told you that you were crazy and also how fun. Okay, so here's our box. I'm going to try not to mess it up because they're in order. But this is our box of pens and we have everything from Sharpie to Papermate to Pilot to Tool. Um, this is not a comprehensive every pen in the universe test. I wish it was, but we would have to be here all day long. So um, if we don't do your pens, I try them out. <laughs> I promise you this paper that we um, have in our signature simplified planners is amazing. Um, we use Mohawk paper. So Mohawk is a company that is based in New York and they make the um, paper that I used to use when I was a wedding invitation designer. So when we went looking for the best planner paper available, we decided that we were going to try Mohawk. And it's Mohawk Via, and it's, again, the same type of paper that I use for wedding invitations, just obviously not cardstock, which is what you would use for wedding invitations. A little bit about paper. So with paper, there's so many different aspects to it. There's the brightness of it, which means, like, how white it is. It can be, like, a blue white or it can be a soft white, or it can be like an ivory white. If you've ever tried to pick out a white paint color for your house, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this paper is a soft white, so it is not like a bright blue white. We wanted something that was just super soft and like true, like rich, awesome white. Um, the thickness of it, it's 70 pound. Um, it's super thick, it's awesome. With any pen that you use on this paper, it's going to be great, right? And I also want to address, I know a lot of you guys are lefties, and you have said to me, hey, we need a lefty to test it out, because there's like smudging and all that. This is going to be a right-hand test, because that's the only one I know how to use. <laughs> so, um, also, what else about the paper? With any paper, in any planner, you are always going to have what is called ghosting on the other side. This is not a bad thing. This is just where if you hold it up to the light, you're going to be able to see the, pen, the ink, right? Our paper does not bleed. Does not bleed. Um, the exception to that rule might be a fountain pen, because I feel like a fountain pen would make anything bleed. But we'll see. I have a fountain pen, because y'all told me I had to have one, so we'll see how that works. But pens do not bleed. You will absolutely love this paper. And I have a raining, um, like favorite pen and it's been my favorite for a long time and we're gonna see how it holds up okie dokie okay anybody have any questions about this um kate said very little ghosting on your paper too totally agree just being very authentic and honest here <laughs> um with cardstock you will not have ghosting because cardstock is cardstock you know cardstock and planner so there's that um <laughs> just so you're funny okay just to recap Today is one day until launch day. Tomorrow is launch day. We're launching our 2020 Signature Simplified Planners, our Dapper Desk Planners, and our Happy Home Art Print Collection. We hope you will come and celebrate with us tomorrow at 9.45 Eastern Time when we, when we turn on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. It won't be me talking at you. It'll just be me freaking out in the room. My kids will be here. Taylor's going to be here. My mom's going to be here. Everyone's going to be here, and it's going to be so much fun okay and then we actually go live we hit the big red button at 10 a.m eastern time tomorrow okay um all right this launch week has been so much fun and this pen test is so fun and also so awkward to film because i'm like wait which way do i lean this way um we have a camera tripod situation set up right now that we don't usually have because usually it's very straightforward literally like at me and right now we have the camera on a tripod that we're going to turn to go onto the planner we're testing a weekly planner um, because when we tried it with a daily, the camera was trying to focus in on the coils because they're gold and beautiful. And so we're using a weekly so that we don't have that problem. And hopefully this camera is going to autofocus on the pen. Okie dokie. 
I'm also going to write on the, um, like when I'm writing with the pen, I'm going to write down the name of the pen so that for reference, like you can see it. Okay. This is so amazing. I can't believe how many people are watching this. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn the camera now. Bear with me. There we go. Turning, turning. Oh, let me get my water bottle out of the way. Then I'm going to have to zoom in on it. Just bear with me. I told y'all this was awkward. Don't act like you didn't know how awkward it was going to be. Okay. Ta-da! All right. Um, here we go. Okay. I'm going to try not to put my shoulder in it. And we're going to start with, is this on camera? Mm -hmm. Right here? Okay. Um, Taylor's in here helping me. So if you hear me talking to somebody, I swear I'm not just talking to myself. Okay. We are going to do, also, my nail polish is Strawberry Margarita by OPI, because someone will ask. <laughs> and yes, I have a pineapple on this finger. Okay, this one is, is it, where's the, is this it, mm -hmm. the packaging? Okay, let me see if I can show it to you. This one is the Pilot um, Friction Ball, Ball Friction, Friction Ball Clicker, and it comes in all these fun colors, and you guys know we really like Pilot. This is the one we're using. Okay, we're gonna use the pink one. And sorry if it's blurry, it's just the nature of this camera, okay? Pilot, friction. There's so much pressure. Okay, pilot friction clicker. Pilot, y'all forgive my handwriting. I don't think I have great handwriting. And I'm going to just do, well, I'm just going to write that. There's, we're going to do another one, another friction next, but it's a little bit different. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. Let me just bring it a little closer. It's beautiful. It writes really well. I like this pen. It kind of makes some noise because it's a clicker, but you can see our paper is nice and okie dokie. There we go. Hold on, where's my tape? All right, let me grab another piece of tape so I can just mark the other side. I put some washi tape on the desk so I could mark where this thing was going, but I only did one side of it. All right, next up is, I'm just going to erase my hair. Next up is the Pilot Friction Color Sticks. A lot of you guys told me yesterday you were super into this one. <laughs> Y'all, I love your encouragement. Great job, Emily. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if this whole planner thing doesn't work out, I'm going to be a hand model. So, Okay, this one is the Pilot Friction Color Sticks Fine with a 0.7 millimeter tip. And this has gel ink. I personally am not always a fan of gel ink. Um, and so we'll see. Okay, thanks, Wit. You're impressed with my camera's autofocus situation. Me too. Pilot Friction Color Sticks. But this writes really good. Color. All right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like it. It writes really smooth because it's not a clicker. There's no clicky noise. Um, yeah, we're gonna try all sorts of colors. By the way, if y'all have questions, I can kind of I can see your your comments real 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 big. Um, but any other questions, um, we're gonna get to those at the end. So this one's awesome, and this one comes with. Let me see that pack. Sorry, I'm messing you up over here. This is the pack. So it comes with green, blue, purple, orange, and then this is like a, I don't want to call it fuchsia because it's not. It's like a magenta, like a dark, like a dark thing. Oh, wait, hold on. This is friction. Oh, can I see that other one? So y'all, this is friction. And let me just show you. It is erasable. All the frictions are erasable. Now, I have heard. Uh, where's my tape? Where's my tape? I have heard that if you leave this in a hot car, it can go away. Like, it'll disappear. But, like, I erased the last letter of each. But look at that. It erased perfectly. That's so great. Thank you to whoever just told me to erase it. Kate, thanks for saying that. Oh, look, I did have tape on here. All right. There we go. We're back in business. Okay, so let me just right-click her. Right. 
Um, the first time we did a pen test video, I don't know what it's up to now, but it had like tens of thousands of views on it because people were so into it. All right, y'all, this is my favorite. Not just because it has my name on it, but that is a, that is kind of cool. Pilot Precise V5 Resort. Set. Did I bring this up? That's okay. Keep it in. <laughs> so this is a set that we actually sell in our shop, and we had the absolute privilege of working with Pilot to create this pen set because these are my absolute favorite pens forever and ever. Amen. Um, I used to be a big Le Pen fan until I found these, and they're so much thinner. I really loved it. Um, so these are the Precise V5, and they have tons of different colors, but these are the colors that we chose for our awesome set. And um, you can get these in our shop. And it comes with black, navy, like a medium blue, turquoise, green, yellow, which, which is a little bit lighter, but it's still beautiful, and then um, pink there at the end. And they're amazing. And my favorite, Taylor, told my, Taylor chose my favorite to hand to me, <laughs> is the navy. Okay. All right. So this is Pilot V5, um, Emily Lake. Precise V5. It's just my favorite. Like, look how, of these three, it's my absolute favorite. Look how clean it writes. Right? It's so pretty. Okay. Here it is on the back. Beautiful. Brittany, washi tape on the desk was a brilliant idea. <laughs> Make sure I'm doing the right thing. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Taylor's like Vanna White over here. Y'all can't see her, but she's handing me all the things. All right, y'all. You guys ask me every time we do this for a fountain pen, and I'm like, no, I would not use a fountain pen in a planner because I feel like, yes, the Happy Stripe set is on the um, on our website. Y'all always ask me to do one of these, and I'm always like, no, because using a fountain pen is not a smart decision because I feel like it puts out so much ink. Um, these are Varsity, the Everyday Fountain Pen by Pilot. Also, this is intimidating. Like, what is happening? Can you focus? Come on, camera. All right, well, it'll do it when I get down in here, but see that? Do I have to do anything to this to make it right? Nope, it's just right. Okay, all right. I just, all right. Here we go. Fountain Pen and the Simplified Planner. Take one. Pilot Varsity. Pilot Pilot Varsity Fountain. Oh, there it is. It's a lot of ink, but it's also really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And it did not bleed. I take back all the bad things I ever said about a fountain pen. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> um, I actually feel like it. Do you ever feel like a certain pen can make your handwriting better? No? Is that just me? Um, I feel like it kind of made my handwriting kind of cool. The precise the flare. Oh, the fl okay. Mm -hmm. Taylor has opinions over here about the flare. She feels like the that with the flare. Yes. Yes. All right, this is cool. I'm, I'm not a hater anymore. I kind of like it. Sorry, it's not going to focus. But this, hello, this is the Pilot Varsity. So this is the one we just used, and it actually comes with a ton of colors. And this one is the Pilot G2, which. People have very strong opinions about the Pilot G2. Um, this is the orange color. They have come in a ton of colors. And um, it's just great. Here we go. Pilot G2. Um, this is the 0.7 millimeter. And it's a clicker. And it's great. The, this one comes in a ton of different colors, too. So that's a good one. I'm a fan. This one is the Papermate Ink Joy. Which, I'm pretty sure these come in multiple colors, because I have some other ones here. This is the blue one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one has, here, let me hold it back again. So, Paper Mate Ink Joy, gel pen. Um, it says, Keeps Work Neat. It's a 0.7 millimeter. Most of these are 0.7 millimeters. All right. Hi, what is this one? Pa Paper Mate Ink Joy. It's Paper Mate two words in the world. It's two, right? All right, all right, so much pressure. Paper 
me eight joy. That's a good one. I like it. I mean, it's still like my B5, but I like it. Okay. And doing good. Paper's still awesome. All right. Next up, and this pen has like a following in and of itself. Um, my camera's not going to focus, but this is the Papermate Flare, and I'm going to use black ink. This is a very thick felt tip situation. Papermate Flare. Keep looking back at the camera to make sure my shoulder's on it. Papermate Ink. F O A I R. Papermate Flare. It's actually not that much thicker than everything else, um, but it is a felt tip. And there is, oh, cool, Kate just said there's a fine tip. Yeah. Oh, which we're going <laughs> to test next. Y'all, Taylor, okay, if you're asking, if you want to know how we came up with these pens, like which ones we're using, Taylor went to um, all of the lives that we've done. We've done this twice now. And a bunch of posts that we've done and got suggestions from y'all's comments. And um, that's where all these came from. So this is cool. Oh, look, and they have a ton of colors. So this is the Papermate Flare Ultra Fine. Oh, who knew there were so many options? Here is the Papermate Flare Ultra Fine. So it looks like it comes in ultra fine, medium, and is that a B for bold or something? We I don't even know. Medium. Okay, we just use the medium. This is ultra fine, and it comes in a bunch of colors. This is a candy shop edition. See, you win my heart if you come in a lot of colors. All right. Okay, this is the fine tip. This reminds me of a Le Pen. Only maybe it's a little thinner. So Paper Mate Flare Ultra Fine Tape. Ooh. I'm just going to do UF Ultra Fine. I can get behind that then. That's good. Also, what a pretty color. Right? Dusty's our, our flare girl, right? Doesn't Dusty use a flare? I love it. Awesome. Okay. It writes really smooth, too. I kind of like this. Can I have that box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Next up, we have the Pentel, a pen I'm not that familiar with. Um, this is the fine tip. And it's the 0.5 millimeter needle tip with black ink. And we have a friend that uses this, this one. So Jen McIntosh, our friend, she uses this one. Um, Pentel Inner Gel. I don't know, lines over here. I'm gonna go down to the next one. Here we go. Inner Gel, five spelling points. Uh, fine. Okay. Here are my thoughts on this. This is very thin. Come on, camera. There we go. This is very thin tip. It's nice. Um, it apparently dries fast, which is what you guys are saying, which is great if you're left-handed. Um, it's nice, but I feel like the thinner tip things like this, like the super, like look how thin it is. The super thin tips, they don't do my handwriting any favors. I don't know. This is so. It's a clicker. Um, next up, the most beautiful pen over here is the gold dot pen. We also have a happy stripe, but it's out of stock right now. We'll be back soon. This is our gold dot pen. And so I'm just going to write gold. Oops, hold on. It comes with like a little tip on it. Okay. Gold. I do like it because it's a little bit thicker than the one above it. Very nice. And it comes in a beautiful box. Like that. Okay, y'all, this was my favorite pen for a long time. This is the La Pen made by Marvy Ukaida. And um, I love the tip of it. It's a very, do it focus here? Nope, not going to do it. Okay. It's a very thin felt tip, but it's like a super skinny pen. And I just love the simplicity of what they look like. 
So you can get tons and tons and tons of, of different colors. Um, this was my favorite until I discovered the V5. And then the V5 replaced it. So V5 up here, little thin one. Okay, let me just show you how we're doing over here. The heaviest of them all is probably the little thin. Okay. Um, this one, these pens are so cool. They're just pretty. This is called the SEPA. I hope I said that right. This is the SEPA. It's 10 pieces. So this one comes with 10 pens and they're all so pretty. Look at those fun colors. Yes. Okay, so this is the SEPA and this is a 0.38 millimeter. So super skinny, super tiny little fine point, very much like the Le Pen, which has uh, doesn't say. Fine point. That. So I'm just going to write SEPA pen. I feel like next time we do this, we should group this by like belt tips and not belt tips. So here's where we are. The SEPA pen is nice. It's very much like the Le Pen. In fact, very, like almost identical. The way that it writes. The pen body is like different, but. All right, Brittany, this one's for you. Here we are. This is the Sharpie. This is, the, it's a 0.8 millimeter, so it's a little bit thicker. And, um, oh, you know what I just thought? Can you grab me from the thing over there some stickers? Like, like maybe the flag stickers? And then I'll write on washi tape too. So this is the Sharpie. And this is, let's see, Sharpie Pen Stylo Fine 0.8 millimeters. So we're going to do, oh, it writes so light. Oh, I don't know about this. This is weird. Sharpie, um, maybe. I don't know. That's real light. Where do you use that? These are all light. Won't bleed through. Won't bleed through. Well, nope. Definitely won't bleed through. There's the blue. Okay, so I feel like this might be just a, like a, that color pack is like super light. But maybe you could use this for almost like a highlighter. Whoa, hello. Maybe you could use this as like a skinny, I mean not skinny, as like a light highlighter. I think I have, y'all just bear with me. I think I have over here in this little desk drawer, have another Sharpie pen. Let's try this one too. I have a couple. So I'm gonna, I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. I'm bringing in some of my own over here. This Sharpie pen is another blue. Is this in that pack? This one? No, this is darker. Okay. I'm going rogue here, but I'm gonna do another Sharpie fine. Okay, y'all, I think those are like highlighter pens, which I've never even heard of. Look at that. How cool is that? Okay, and I have a dark, another color. I have a black one. So let's try this one. This is the Sharpie pin, is what it says. And it's a fine tip. And this one is the Sharpie in black. Mm, this one's good. This one is a little bit skinnier than like the SEPA or the Le Pen to me. Um, <laughs> I love it. Someone said I love Emily's on the fly commentary. Okay, no bleeding, not a bit. Um, while, you know what, I'll save it till the end, but at the end, I'm going to do, I'm going to write on some stickers and some washi because y'all were asking about that. Okay, we'll put that over there, and this over here, and then next up, we are going to do, which one is next? Y'all, I can't believe how many people are watching this right now, this is amazing. Y'all are my people! Okay, Stabilo, probably not saying that right. These are highlighters. So let's do, let's do this color because it's amazing. Look how pretty this color is. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. You can do it. Nope, not having it. Okay, well, it's beautiful. Let me show you the pack. So these are the Stabilo highlighters. Yes, y'all. Y'all don't think we're going to leave out the highlighters, did you? Um, it is, let's see, very, very thick. And these highlighters, I'm just going to write with, mm, I'm going to highlight, I'll just highlight one of the ones you've already done because I know that they're dry and 
we all know that you don't want to highlight something that's not dry. So I'm going to highlight the pin tail. Beautiful. That's a really rich color. So those are the stiff. One more. What do you think of it? There we go. Um, that's beautiful. That's such a pretty color. I mean, look at all that. Look at all the colors. I love it. Am I wearing a mic? I'm not wearing a mic. I don't usually wear a mic, though. I usually just use this guy. Let me check the mic. Okay. Is it sounding quiet? Hang on. Let me check the mic. How's that? Does it sound better now? Better? I just switched the mic over to something different. Um, Y'all let me know if you can hear me better. It might just be because we have... These are always delayed. <laughs> it might just be because we have this set up so weird. Um, I'm gonna, just going to pause for a sec. Okay, sound is great. Sound better. Okay, yay. Nice. Awesome. Okay, cool. um, all right, next pen is the Pilot Friction Light Highlighter. So, y'all, I'm not sponsored by Pilot, I swear. I'm not at all sponsored by Pilot. I just like Pilot a lot. I think I really like the quality of their pens, and I love these highlighters. So, this... I love these particular highlighters, highlighters the best because these are really, really light, okay? And so I will write, typically I'll write with black ink with the Precise V5, and then I'll use this. In fact, did I write with it? I wrote with navy. Um, I will use these on top of that. That's okay. I'll just do it on top of the navy one. Let's do, let's do the pink one because it's my favorite. Um, and again, these are friction, so you can erase with the little tip here on the end. So let's do, I'm just going to highlight the Pilot Precise V5. Super pretty. Love it. These are my favorite. Um, and you can erase this highlighter. Right? Wait, I'm using the wrong hand. <laughs> Get it together, Emily. Okay. Yeah, you can erase, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I erased the very end of that pink right there. Beautiful. All right. That's the pot. Sorry, I stole all these. Let me give these back to you. And then we have the Tool GL Series 0.5 millimeter fine needle point with gel ink. And they are messing around because that's a long name, but look how pretty. Look how pretty those are. Right? And yes, I will definitely list all of them. Oh, and we can, um, maybe we'll post this to our blog because people love this one so much. Maybe we'll post this to our blog with links to all these pens. Does that sound good? Um, uh, okay, now this is tool. This, which color should I use? Mm. Maybe this pretty teal. Yeah, that. yeah, that's fun. All right, so gel ink, which, do y'all remember when gel pens first came out? I'm dating myself here, but. Um, when gel pens first came out, I remember, and I didn't love them because they skipped, like the ink skipped, but I feel like it's like improved over the years. They've gotten better. So I'm just going to put tool fine pen. Okay. T U L. Oh, this color is amazing. Fine needle point. Not gonna lie. It's a great pen. That's a real good pen. It, um, it's great. Yeah. I don't know what kind of tip that is, but it's really good. I should learn that, the name of that. Um, this one's really pretty and the color is awesome. See it? Okay. Okay, y'all, we have one more. Okay. Two more. Oh, I forgot we <laughs> added that one. Y'all made me go out and shop for zebra midliners yesterday, which I have never tried. So these are the Bic intensity uh fine point 0.4 millimeter pens look at all those colors right um which one should i use uh pink? decisions well, let's use pink and then i want to use gray they have a gray what do you do with that that's fun <laughs> y'all that's cool okay so big intensity we're gonna go down to the next line Bic, they're not kidding, it's intense. Bic intensity. Gray. You, if you need a gray pen, I got you. Sorry, y'all, I think, I think I moved it to where you couldn't see it. Look at that. So cool. 
And no, nothing is bleeding at all. So cool. All right, it looks like I might need to scoot my guy up there because we're getting so long. Big intensity is awesome. It's like a fine, it's like a very fine tip, almost like, almost like Le Pen's, but it's way thinner. All right, last, but certainly not least, because these were a very popular request. And if I was going to choose off looks alone, I mean, this is kind of amazing. So this is the Zebra Midliner. Creative marking tool. Double-ended, I mean, double-ended? Double-ended, soft, mild color, water-resistant. And I found these in the pen section um, at Target, but I also was told by the Target guy, because I couldn't find them, he told me that sometimes they're in the um, the section with, like, the craft stuff, right? Isn't that cool? Okay. All right. I, I mean, I want to try all of them. I want to put them all in my hand and just, like, drag it and make a rainbow. Okay. Ah, how do I choose? Okay, we're going to pick a couple because this is just too much fun. Um, we haven't done yellow. Let's try these. All right. Here's what I chose. Ooh, color inspiration. That's fun. Okay, so the top has uh, a bold point. Sorry, a bold point. That is very bold. Is this a highlighter? Can someone tell me? Is this a highlighter? Why does it look like a highlighter? No, it's a creative marking tool, Emily. Um, and then the other side has a, a fine point. Uh, nope, not going to do it. But you kind of get the, there it is. You get the picture. So is this a, I don't understand. We're going to try it out. It's a highlighter. Kate tells me it's a highlighter. Um, this is called, I'm just going to write zebra. It's definitely a highlighter. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. I might be switching my favorite. Oh, I don't know. Where do I want to do this? Mm, let's do it on the Sharpie. Ooh, that's fun. Look at that. It's like a brighter color than this one. And it's a tiny bit lighter. Cool. All right. And then there's another. Y'all, this is a weird color. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it right here. Well, it's not that weird. It's actually kind of amazing. Check that out. Oh, someone just said it's for underlining. Of course it is. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well, let's just underline then. Here's the pink. It's very bright. Look at that tip. Super bright. We're going to underline our tool fine needle point. Amazing. All right. The pen, uh, stickers. Okay, y'all. Stickers. Um, let's pick pink. I'm going to write with a sticker. I'm going to write on a sticker. Now, here's here's my caveat to this. If you're going to... That's freaking... That's going to drive me crazy. If you are going to write on a sticker, you have to... I'm sorry if I'm in the camera. I'm being weird. You have to give it time to dry. Okay? Um, and then... If you're going to write on washi tape, the same thing applies. You got to give it a hot, um, oh, no, hold on. I'm trying to get some washi tape here. If you're going to write on washi tape or on stickers, you got to give it time to dry. Um, let's just put you right there. And I'm going to say use a thin Sharpie pen to do this. Let's see. Sharpie. Ta-da! I'm going to give it some time. Now, okay, we have the Sharpie pen, so that's what I picked up. But i got to be honest with you. I would use, I would still use, like, the thin Sharpie, which... Hey, Taylor, can you check in my kitchen counter and see if there's mm -hmm. a thin, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like an actual Sharpie, mm -hmm. but, like, the thin version. So this is the Sharpie pen. I'm going to give it a hot minute to dry. But when I say, like, use a Sharpie on these, I'm talking about, like, a Sharpie. You know what I'm talking about? Like, an actual permanent marker, but use the thin, the actual thin tip. Um, if we can't find a thin, actual thin Sharpie, I'm just going to use the navy blue actual Sharpie. 
Oh, sweet. Taylor found one. These are the navy blue shirt. Did y'all know Sharpies came in navy blue? I used this to sign a bunch of books. Thank you. All right, so we're going to test Sharpie pen and also Sharpie marker. So this guy is what I'm talking about to use on um, washi and all that. Sharpie marker. I left all the vowels out. Okay. Put a little heart there. Well, it's kind of a heart. On the flag, and then I put a Sharpie marker on the washi tape. And now we're just going to sit and stare at it. Just kidding. That would be weird. Nothing. <laughs> Y'all look at my wrinkly hands. Look. Nothing is coming off of the Sharpie marker. Same thing for washi tape. Nothing on it. Yep, Sharpie pen is on my finger. You can see it. So if you're writing, the, the, the verdict is in. If you are writing on washi or stickers, use a Sharpie marker with a fine tip. So something like this, okay? This particular tip is the ultra fine point. That is not, oh, there it is. This is the Sharpie ultra fine tip. Cool. So when I am doing, I mean, since we're here, y'all, let me just show you what I do for meal planning in a weekly. I will take a flag sticker and I don't write on it, but I'm just going to show you what I do. I will put it over here and I will try not to make it crooked. And then I will write, let me grab, hang on. Well, sorry y'all. Okay. Here go my, my fave. And then I would write over here like taco bowls, lettuce, hold on, lettuce, um, salsa, ground, beef, beans, uh, chips, Jeez, girl. cheese. Okay. So just to show you, like, this is how I would meal plan in a weekly, and this is how I would do um, my stickers. Put the ingredients over here, check and see if you got it, and then have your sticker. Why do I put a sticker on it? Because it's pretty. And yes, I matched it to the, <laughs> the color. Okay, this concludes the ultimate pen test three. Here she is. I will take a picture of this and post it later. Uh, now I want tacos too, Jessica. <laughs> I will post this later. Um, and yeah, I mean, how fun was that? I, I'm going to tell y'all my ultimate favorite pen still remains. It is still the Precise V5. It is our Happy Stripe pen set. You can get them in our shop. Um, that's why we were so tickled pink to work with them to make these. But they, this one is still my favorite. This is second. This is the second. Taylor says I have to say this is second, but she's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. I really do like the paper make flare. Um, the tips. Let's look at the two. The difference. I mean, they're they're a different type. Like one's a felt tip, and one is another type of tip, um, and they're similar, but different. Let's just draw. I just really wanted to do this since I started this whole thing. Um, it only skipped because I lifted my hand up. So let's just connect the dots there. So you can see kind of the difference, right? So cool. And then let's flip over to the back. I officially eat all of my words, all the bad things I said about the fountain pen. It's great. It did great. So if, you're, if you like a fountain pen, go for it. Um, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see my face. And I can go over just a couple of things. Okie dokie. Hold on, wait, let me get the zoom off first. All right, guys. Whoa. There's my face. Okay. I'm crooked again. But thank you guys for joining. This one was so fun. Um, we all love pins and could do this forever. We're so glad that you could join us. And let me just check my messages. Okay. Um, which one was my favorite again? The Pilot Precise V5. We have them in our shop. You can get them on um, launch day. 
And today I'm going to be giving away, uh, we've on all of our Facebook lives, we've given away a 2020 signature simplified planner to one of you. And whoever wins that is also, we're also going to send you one of the sets of those of our favorite pins, the precise V5 um, in the happy stripe colors. I'm also going to give away four B hats. So you've seen those. Um, so comment real quick with your favorite pin or anything so that we can choose one of you to win the planner and the pins and then choose four of you to win one of the B hats. The winner of the launch day survival kit, which so many of you entered to win. Um, it was that absolutely beautiful, um, bag and her name is Pamela Pacheco. And I actually emailed her right before we hit go on this and just got an email back from her. So, um, Pamela, thank you for entering to win. We took all of your emails, all of your entries, and then we sorted that. I mean, did not sort them. We took them into an Excel spreadsheet, did a random number generator, and then chose that random line number, and Pamela was our winner. So um, thank you all for entering to win. Pamela, we will get it out to you ASAP. All right, let me get back to questions real quick. Um, will the pilot pens and the shop colors ever be updated? Nope because they're happy stripe. <laughs> can you show us an example of how you use washi? Um, you can see lots of examples in the Facebook Live that we did about color coding. So go to um, our video library on our website and you can watch that entire video. Can you do a giveaway with all these leftover pens? <laughs> um, no, we're actually gonna save them for next time. So we invested a small fortune in all these pens and we're gonna save it for the ultimate pen test four because we'll probably end up doing it every time because y'all ask for it so much and it's so much fun and maybe one day I won't be as awkward with the camera. <laughs> um, how would the tool hold up on a Bible page? Ooh, that's hard. You need somebody to do a Bible um, pen test. That's a whole other ball game with those pen pages. Um, is the Bic pen the same size as the Le Pen? I don't know because Le Pen does not list their millimeter point on their packaging, so I'm not totally sure. Um, Okie dokie. What else? Let me just make sure I got everything. Um, we are so excited to launch our planners tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining us all week for these Facebook lives. If you've missed any, we would love for you to go to our video library and watch um, all of them. They're all there on our website. You can also go to our website to find the quiz to see which signature simplified planner is best for you. Be sure you take it before dinner time tonight because right around dinner, like after dinner time tonight, we are going to take our shop down. So if you go to um, emilylay.com tonight or tomorrow morning, it will be password protected. It'll be down and you will, uh, you will be like, what is happening? You will not need a password tomorrow. Our team just takes it down tonight. We all powwow on a video call and get the whole back end of the site ready to go for launch tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go live on Instagram and Facebook, basically just for you to watch, like hang out with us and for us to all celebrate because we're gonna have my kids here. They're staying home from school for like an extra hour. Um, all of Team Simplified's kids, they all have Team Simplified Kids t-shirts are so cute, um, and we're all going to hit the big red button together. So I hope that you will join us, and definitely head over to the website to see all the things. Um, make sure, um, oh, can I see the printable real quick? Make sure that you are on our email list, because today we are going to be emailing you out a free printable. Um, if you've gotten our printables all week, you know how awesome they are, but we're going to be emailing out a free printable where you can do, it's not simplified planner paper, obviously, because you're printing it out yourself, but you can execute your own pen test. So if you just want to see not how it performs on the paper, but like how all of your pens stack up to each other, we're going to send you a piece of, or a printable where you can do your own pen test. We have space for highlighters, text pens, and then little blocks for you to do colored pens. And um, so you like color in the little blocks and then write what the name of the color and the name of the pen is next to it, okay? Um, so you can have fun with your own pen test. Also, a little bit later today, we are going to email you, I think it's tonight, we are going to email you guys a video that no one has ever seen before. And it shows some behind the scenes of launch day last spring when everyone on Team Simplified was here in my house. And we just had so much fun. And I'm going to warn you, 
I start the video off like in tears because our amazing team that we were working with, uh, Car her name is Carly Ray. She's, she's an amazing um, videographer. She started asking me some questions that just like got me right here. <laughs> so I start the video off like in tears telling the story of Simplify and like what it's grown to be and what it means now, what it means to me and what it means to all of us. Um, and so I'm excited for y'all to see the video. It's really, really, really good. It's really, really cute. Like I sobbed when I saw it for the first time. So we're going to email that out later today. Be sure you're on our email list and, um, tomorrow's a big day. All right. What else? Oh, Taylor is handing me a beautiful navy blooms daily, but also, um, our winner. So the winner of the signature simplified planner and the pens is April Harris. So um, April, email taylor at emilylay.com and she will get it out to you. Just let her know. She gets to pick, right? Yeah. Just let her know which um, 2020 Signature Simplified Planner you want. And then we'll also send you our Happy Stripe Pilot Precise V5 pen set. And then our B hat winners are Molly Robertson, Tiffany White, Kim Hawkins, and Andy Mills. So all of you, thank you. All of you, thank you so much for being here. And please email taylor at emilylay.com before the end of the day to claim your prize and send your shipping address. Okie dokie. All right, y'all. Did I cover everything? This is our last, like, legit Facebook Live this week. I have had so much fun. I love launch week so much. It's so much fun. I feel like it's, like, seven days where I just, I don't know, I love to connect with you guys and hear your thoughts. And we get so many ideas from you and... Um, it's something that Team Simplified works for, for like an entire year. Um, so before I go, I have to give a major shout out, high fives and hugs to Team Simplified because they, they just rocked it this week. And um, even through the weekend and through the holiday, have just been working so hard and loving on you guys so well. So um, yeah. Oh, April Harris. I just saw you say my kid was talking. Is it me? It's you! <laughs> you win! <laughs> April Harris, you win. Email taylor at emilylay.com. <laughs> taylor at emilylay.com. I can relate to that so much. My kid was talking. I had no idea what was going on. Okay. Thank you, guys. I hope you all have an awesome week. And I'm going to try to not awkwardly um, end this. We'll send out a video recording of this later on today.